In this quick tip, we're going to be taking a look at the mixer configuration. So this can simplify your life when you're dealing with too many tracks in the mixer. So if we open up the mixer, we've got a typical case where, admittedly, I've, I've, I've set this up because obviously my MacBook doesn't have that many inputs, but it's quite common if you've got a system with 8, 16, 32, whatever inputs, that when you open the mixer, half of it is dominated by those input channels. And that's not what you want as soon as you're mixing. So when you're tracking, that can be what you want. But once you're done with that, you probably don't want to see that every time. And this is really easy to fix. We go up here, channel type filter, click on that, and we just untick input channels. And the input channels are gone. And now your mixer is just the things you're concerned with. Now, clearly, you can do this with other kinds of channels as well. So let's say you only wanted to see audio channels. So we could just untick that and then we get nothing and then just audio channels. So, you know, when you've got a session with mix of instrument and audio and MIDI, etc., sometimes it's useful to narrow it down to just a particular type. But by removing those input channels is probably the thing I find most in a busy studio setup just allows the mixer to do what I want it to do once I've moved past the recording stage. And that's your quick tip for today. 